Okay, this next unit is called the Clocked Random Gate. Um, it does about what you would think it would do. Um, so right here I've got just kind of a drum rack set up. Um, I've got it being fed by a uh, clock that's on the global channel here um, called Clock. Um, and on Mixer Channel 1 I just have a kick drum that's just going steady with the clock. So. And what we'll do, uh, we'll come into Mixer Channel 3 here. This has kind of a hi-hat sound set up on it. Um, well, if we're not muted, you can hear it here. Um, so let's come in here. This was assigned to C1. Let me just clear that out, and uh, I'm going to insert the... clock random gate. Um, so I'm going to feed it um, the same clock uh, from my global channel. Oh, actually, this one is set up uh, to take its input from the front. So we'll just feed it the clock here. Um, so if this unit looks um, kind of familiar, maybe kind of like the tap tempo unit. Um, well, that's uh, because it's, uh, it actually started with the tap, tap tempo unit and I just added some stuff onto it. Um, so really the only thing different is this probability control here, which we'll check out. Um, let's go ahead and sync this um, also to the global clock signal and um, turn the volume back up here. So let's go ahead and uh, multiply this a little bit. So really, uh, the only thing you've got here is this probability control. So um, right now we're at a probability of 1 or 100%. And um, as I start to move this down, you hear it start to skip some beats. So only uh, an 81% chance of it firing right here. If I move it more toward the middle, You should hear it skipping about half of the beats. Um, if I go to zero, obviously it's going to kind of flatline there, and you won't hear any of the I had anymore. So you know you can set the probability anywhere you want to. Um, let's see, is there anything else to note about this? I mean, really everything else you know works exactly like the built-in tap tempo unit. So I don't think there is uh, much else to know here. Um, you know, I guess obviously um, if you wanted it to be less. Clocked. I mean, right now it's kind of synchronized everything, right? But um, you could feed it, um, I guess, a, a less stable clock, or uh, you know, potentially you could go and modulate the um, the um, the speed of one of these clocks with something else so that uh, it was more random. I think that's it for that one.